The hashtag cancel Jimmy Fallon started trending on Twitter after a sketch from the year 2000 resurfaced showing Fallon in blackface. As you can imagine, it seems the internet, at least Twitter, is divided in regards to the situation, but Fallon has since apologized publicly. I'm going to tell you guys all about it right now in Inform Overload. What's burning, my spicy friends? I'm your host for this one, Jared Bronstein, and today we got an interesting one for you. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe and stick around to the very, very end. We got some bonus content you won't want to miss out on. For now, let's jump right into it. So the story here is 20 years ago, literally in the year 2000, Jimmy Fallon did an impression of his friend and Saturday Night Live alumni Chris Rock while on the show. For those of you who don't know, Rock was a cast member of the show from 1990 to 1993, and Fallon was a part of the team from 1998 until 2004. The specific skit in question shows Fallon wearing blackface, pretending to be Chris Rock while appearing on the Regis Philbin show. Regis in this skit was portrayed by Daryl Hammond. Since the backlash began, Fallon was quick to issue an apology on Twitter, writing the following. In 2000, while on SNL, I made a terrible decision to do an impression of Chris Rock while in blackface. There is no excuse for this. I am very sorry for making this unquestionably offensive decision and thank all of you for holding me accountable. Now, as you can imagine, people were divided in the first place, but now that Fallon has apologized, people are calling him out saying he shouldn't have apologized for a skit from 20 years ago, especially considering how it's more than likely he didn't even write it. What is the guy supposed to do? I mean, not do it in the first place, I get that. But I'm saying from this point on, like uh, he apologizes, people get mad. He doesn't apologize, people get mad. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you could argue that Fallon himself made the decision to agree to do the skit knowing he'd be in blackface. But what about the people who thought it'd be funny in the first place? The people that suggested the idea. They're not supposed to be reprimanded? Why isn't Lorne Michaels, one of the creators and producers of Saturday Night Live, getting called out for allowing the skit to be on his program? It's an interesting topic to discuss, that's for sure. In the skit itself, Fallon is seen wearing a black turtleneck, a black leather jacket, and said the following. I've seen Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and guess what? Not a lot of black folks on the show. Know why? Because black folks don't like to answer questions. Oh, they want to be millionaires, but you gotta ask their kind of question. Like, in 1981, how many grams of crack did Rick James smoke when he recorded Super Freak? There were other people questioning why Fallon is being cancelled for blackface when black comedians like Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, and Dave Chappelle have all done whiteface in the past. Some also referenced the film White Chicks, a great film by the way, where the Wayans brothers, Marlon and Sean, literally dress up as white girls for the majority of the movie going undercover as cops. Just want to clarify here guys, I'm not asking this, it's people on Twitter. I'm simply just reporting a story. So, if you guys have anything you want to say about any information I report, please, just head to Twitter. But again, a very interesting point. Some asked why it was okay for Robert Downey Jr. to do blackface in Tropic Thunder, while others claimed it wasn't, but Iron Man overshadowed that controversy. But clearly people are bringing up things from the past, so why hasn't RDJ been cancelled? Not that I'm calling for it, I just don't understand why certain people are dragged for things others aren't. So, I'm gonna open up the floor to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation down below. If you guys can maybe educate me as to why certain people are getting cancelled for this while others aren't. Again, I, I understand, like, it's a, I get it, but I don't understand why it's like some and some aren't. Anyways. You guys gotta let me know, should Jimmy Fallon be cancelled? Did he need to apologize? Let me know down below. For now, I wanna reply to some comments from the video. Tana Mojo joins OnlyFans. Linear Rex said, I would buy your OnlyFans, Jared. And then have like 150 thumbs up. Yo, if all of you guys were literally gonna pay $5 a month, 150 of you? Amelia Stroman said, LOL, kinda lame to say you won't ever pay for adult entertainment. Most of the free vids online are reposted from content that is meant to be paid for and without the actor's knowledge or permission. Performers asking to be paid for their work should not be snubbed at. I just wanna clarify, I was more so making a joke that I have so much physical intimacy that I don't have to pay for it. That was the joke I was trying to make and it was a joke because truth be told guys, it's been a while. And now a handful of you guys called me out for not knowing how to say Pornhub. Obviously guys, I was joking. You know I know how to say it. It's like probably one of the top, you know, like it's like my number one bookmark. Okay guys, I'm joking. And I know some of you guys would be like, oh my God, you're being a perv. I'm just joking around guys. I'm trying to make this video lighthearted and fun. And, you know, I'm trying to entertain you guys. That's it. So anyways guys, that's it for this one. I've been your host, Jared Bronstein. Let us know your thoughts down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.